Hello everybody, we're back again with another episode. Unfortunately, we had to skip last episode and we're gonna be combining Mallorca game with YRL game and we will be reviewing, uh, previewing the Sheriff UCL draw. Uh, I'm Nodo, this is Ritwick, Ria and Sinead. So, Hi guys. Uh, Hi. A huge victory against Mallorca, which I actually predicted last mm. last episode. Uh, well, I was a little off for for nil, but I predicted ten out of eleven uh, players, and mm. a huge victory that was even bigger than I actually thought. And I was being optimistic. So, what what what, what do you think about that? I think that uh, we should have uh, we should have gone with Riyadh's predict uh, prediction. I think Riyadh could have done better with eight two. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking that they could have gone uh, like a clean sheet as well. Like it could have oh, been six yeah. zero. That the defense was still shaky, right? Mm, yeah. That I mean, goal could have been avoided. Definitely, definitely. Mm. Like the goal was caused by Militao being out of position, but he was excellent throughout the game. Apart from that, yeah. thirty seconds. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, all Militao. the defenders in that line, like the, uh, were not in the in their position. It was only Militao mm -hmm. who was able to try. Uh, Alaba was also like a uh, very far from the uh, from the situation, so it was only Militao who tried to stop it, but he couldn't. Mm -hmm. And the blame mm. definitely went to Kurtua <laughs> that he didn't doesn't have a clean sheet for that game. Yeah, like Kurtua always does what he can, like to his maximum. Yeah, yeah. The mm -hmm. defense gotta help him out. Yeah, six uh, win like, uh, uh, like great to watch, treat to watch. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm. it was it was so fun. It was like watching a movie. Um, the so what what we got to see Benzema double and two assists. Asensio scored his first hat trick for uh, Real Madrid for sure. Has he scored a yeah. hat trick yeah. anywhere else? Yeah, I, I think 16. he scored one for Mallorca. I am not sure mm. though. I'll have to cross check that. Um. So. Uh, it. Oh so yeah, no wait. He has scored for Mallorca, but that's when he was playing in the second league. Like uh -huh. the second time, is it? Second time, yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah, this is his team. first top flight uh, mm -hmm. uh, hat trick. Hat so mm -hmm. Isco scored, but uh, you know it was a uh, not like he, he, you had to be there first of all. So like not mm -hmm. to discredit mm -hmm. him or anything. Vinicius made a great pass. Uh, defense wasn't there, but you know it's still uh, good for his confidence. I guess maybe he's gonna you know step up later. Uh, like it's w way too optimistic and hopeful, but yeah, you, know, you know, just maybe he's not gonna be uh, terrible at least. Uh, Asensio's hat trick. Uh, some people say that it's a one-time thing. I hope not. And Benzema being the beast he is, just amazing. Yeah. Uh, Vinicius. Uh, Vinicius had a definite Vinicius moments throughout the game. Oh. Mm. Uh, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna like. I, okay, uh, the, there was that one, uh, one shot from outside the box, which, you know, some s said uh, Vinicius just uh, blew it, but you know, even uh, Cross sh shoots it uh, badly sometimes from outside the box. Mm -hmm. Outside the box shots are really difficult. One well, one thing I'm mm -hmm. really really sad about is one t one time when he was in the box. Cut inside, yeah. uh, got rid of the uh, defender. Could have mm -hmm. like he scored a few goals uh, this season where he shot it towards the right side, right bottom corner, and he should have done that. But mm -hmm. instead, he just slowly, he just slowly uh, shot it to towards the keeper, just not even ma making a challenge for him. So yeah, um, he did get an assist, but yes, he should have scored. Yeah. I think. Mm. Still needs to work on his finishing. Like mm, he's yeah. still young, it has gone up definitely. For sure. Uh, uh, there, there was a stat. I think uh, was it after the Mallorca game or before it? Like um, in the top five leagues, out of 
all the players who took more than 10 shots he had the best uh, best conversion rate yeah, out of them i think around 38% conversion rate yeah that says a lot yeah that says a lot yeah that says a lot uh, anyway uh, let's start with with the defense uh, yeah go on uh, alaba uh, i like to start with because as good mm. of a defender as he is he's very mm. attack minded and uh, yeah even in that game he had more shot creation and goal creation actions uh, than asensio actually he had three uh, <laughs> goal creation actions oh and shot god. creation actions oh my god he also has an assist which was beautiful by the way uh, i mean great long ball yeah. uh, that was beautiful yeah. mean, he, i mean he was also also the way he drives with the ball right it's so fascinating to watch just oh, takes yeah, yeah. so fun uh i was just looking through his passing stats uh alaba mm. in that game uh mm. in the mid range uh he had he had 100% uh, passing accuracy he made he attempted 30 passes and he completed 30 of those so uh, even in the short range he had 100% passing passing it's just in yeah. the long range he feared i mean it's not bad it's he attempted 13 he had 10 on on target so that's pretty mm. good uh, i think alaba i still believe would be better on left back than on center back but yeah. i think we'll you have to when why yeah because yeah. his aerial like i don't think his aerial success rate is is right up there where we actually wanted to be like oh yeah there. no it's, it's not it's it's not it's not uh, i mean militao is definitely better uh, in yeah. playing, in that i mean mm. alaba is decent he is not a great winner in the yeah. real world at least yeah mm-hmm. okay so uh, milita actually had a pretty solid game as a defender i mean mm. what can i say about him he's anyway he was a beast against mallorca yeah, yeah, yeah. do, do you guys remember there was a recovery tackle like right at the edge of their box like they were trying to attack they were like passing around the back and then trying to move the ball outside uh, their box he just made a sliding tackle like right, right at the edge of their box you know that was that was great to watch something mm-hmm. ramos like you know totally i mean she had the most number of blocks interceptions tackles mm-hmm. you say it he was pretty solid in the game defensively uh even in that the goal that we were discussing the one mayorka goal i think alaba yeah. was was too far in the attacking zone that's why he couldn't track back i think in time but uh, yeah. he made a last ditch slide but he couldn't get it yeah let's, yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. Uh, like he did a... uh not uh, discredit uh kangi in league that here uh, he, he was oh, amazing yeah. throughout oh, the game he, he, he was actually yeah, the yeah. only reason in the player ratings poll I gave Mallorca a 2 instead of 1. Can give me. <laughs> he, he if he continues like this his future is looking bright. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I feel like we can judge it by one game but I haven't seen any other games of his so you know. He uh, for this game he seemed, he seemed really really good especially he was practically playing alone too. There were like Mallorca wasn't there only Kangin the Real Madrid versus Kangin the was it <laughs> Yeah I mean it wasn't a milestone actually the win was not a milestone like it was like with an against an average team so this yeah. was, the score was much expected it was not something a surprise to us Um okay Nacho was on the right back as a right back this mm. time uh, and uh, Miguel was a left back Uh mm-hmm. Nacho was much more solid even if it was against Mallorca than uh mm-hmm. than Lucas Vasquez and I think I'm more calm when Nacho is a uh, right back and uh, uh Miguel. Miguel is a left back than when Nacho is a left back and sure. Lucas Vasquez is a right back especially since yeah. uh, uh Nacho is naturally a center back if he has to track back mm-hmm. and go to the center You know, I'd rather have him in the uh, in the center than Lucas Vasquez being in the center and passing to an opponent and getting mm-hmm. them a goal like he did last time. That 
not last time, but you know, before Mallorca. Nacho, like in my opinion, like he has um, like a proper def defender's instinct. Like he knows where to be, when to be. You know, yeah. um, that that makes all the difference. Even if like you are not naturally a right back, like you kind of know, um, you know, where to go before even an attack happens. So. I think yeah, we saw that in the other game when we'll discuss it. I think we, I think we can deep to put it. it simply, I would say Nacho is a better Lucas Vasquez. He plays uh, yeah. on three, right back three positions. Yeah. Uh, mm. He uh, does join uh, attacks if you uh, notice, and you know uh, instead yeah. of uh, Lucas Vasquez being kind of below average. Uh, in in the both in the attack and uh, uh, and uh, in the defense, I think Nacho is a, a little bit above average on all three positions. Mm. You know, he's, well, let's say he, he's a, definitely above average as a center back, and he's kind of average uh, as a fullback, but that's still mm. better than you know, Lucas Vasquez. Definitely. And he has scored a goal I, this season. <laughs> and Lucas hasn't. Go on, Ray. I think Vasquez is having a bad season. I like. I don't want to say that he isn't a good player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having like a... even I said, same yeah. thing. Previous episode, yeah. like he's not that shit, but he's going through a bad patch for sure. Yeah. I mean, let's hope Mendy recovers oh. fast. So. We have a lot of these defensive problems would, would be mm. easier to it's like handle. yes, we had the defensive problem. Mendy's was... situation is never ending, is it? Like he got injured when uh, Zidane Something was here and Miguel was yeah. playing. Uh, Miguel was starting when Zidane was here, and we all know how Zidane uh, likes to start young players. He, he doesn't. Mm. That's his. That's his forte. Yeah, he 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 doesn't. <laughs> Like to start uh, uh, young players, and uh, well, Miguel was starting. That's how long he, uh, Mendy has been injured. Like, honestly, it, it. I don't know. He's been. What's the difference between Mendy and Asensio's uh, ACL? You said you still. Uh, like, yes, maybe uh, Mendy's uh, injury is not as bad as Asensio's ACL because ACL is ACL. But if he's gonna mm. like. Uh, not be able to play for as long as Asensio didn't. Doesn't matter what injury was it. You know, it, it always takes a huge, huge. Uh, you know, um, it's it's always a huge stress to the player. You know, you haven't played for a practically half a year now. You know, how how are you gonna? I come think the club back? was. I think the club was stressed, bro. Like regarding Mendy, I think they tried to rush him back, and I think there was a relapse. I'm pretty, yeah, it was, yeah, there was pretty confident that there was a relapse in his injury. We should move to mid attacking because this game uh, was more of attacking rather than discussing. Uh, the let's defense. go to midfield since yeah. like, uh, four, go four Three, goals came yes. from the midfield. Uh, okay. Valverde, I, I don't think there's anything new we can say about Valverde. I mean, he Live again. again. Yeah, I mean, he was, he was solid. He yeah. did his job brilliantly. Uh, yeah, but Valverde played his usual game. Yeah, was yeah. everywhere, played fast, this and that. You know, uh, I, I want to talk more about Kamawinga before we get to the start of the match. Uh, Kamawinga was uh, brilliant, I think. Every time he would receive the ball, he would pass it upfield. He wouldn't you know, like look back or look on the sides so, or oh, where I could pass. He just, even if he was facing a uh, goal, uh, Thibaut, he'd just turn around and mm. pass it in front. So he'd start attacks a, a, a lot. Uh, and I think he was he was gonna stay on for longer had he uh, not gotten a yellow and a t and a kind of an aggressive tackle afterwards. He was gonna get substituted yeah. off definitely, but you know he was gonna get even more time uh, if there was no uh, worry that he would get a red card. He still shows that naivety of being 18, right? Like yeah. he still mm -hmm. goes a little too late into tackles. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, uh, Asensio. Uh, Asensio. Before we go to Asensio, uh, can we talk about Blanco and Isco? Uh, Blanco. For sure. Uh, Blanco was decent. Yeah, no, I actually quite enjoyed. Uh, I mean, he did not mm. look that he has never, he's not played for 
for real madrid like eight in, in, yeah. in a long long time blank he's was such a tight right player right like yeah he, like he never right looks out of place i mean what can i say he had uh, the best uh, dribble success rate i mean uh, with mm. camera with isco in fact i'm sorry like 100% he attempted two he was successful in two and isco mm. attempted three successful in three dribbles i mean mm. I, there is nothing flawed about blanco's game in that game i mean i couldn't yeah. pinpoint that okay no he could have done this better um, absolutely brilliant passing was great mm. you know progression you know he uh, he reminds me of like uh, billy gilmo i know billy gilmo is not an established player but he plays for chelsea he is regarded as like one of the best midfielders like he reminds me of billy gilmo and i worry for both of them because of their physicality like they are not as built yeah. enough yet mm-hmm. at least that might be their only flaw to be you know deployed in midfield you know uh, i want to say uh one thing about blanco he was pretty decent mm. he didn't like make any mistakes or anything that i noticed uh, mm. he was kind of you know he was more aggressive when zidane was here i think he was uh following just uh following uh, carlos orders and you know when uh it's so you have a you you're coming on for real madrid and you know it's like your mm-hmm. third fourth game uh for real madrid i think you're going to do what you're told and uh you know kind of keep your creative creativity for yourself so uh he was basically mm-hmm. just following orders and he was doing that perfectly So yeah I think I think uh Blanco was uh really really decent. Uh mm. about Isco well he scored a goal it's nice. Uh he was and decent. And that uh, nutmeg, 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 the nutmeg. Yeah, uh, yeah the he, was, he was after the he was decent the uh, whole game but uh, 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 you know one thing to note is he's just extremely slow. Yeah. He just can keep yeah. the ball really really well but the con is uh that he's really slow so only thing he can rely mm. on is that uh he can just uh roll the ball between his uh feet and people won't take it away but as 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 soon as he has to uh do a solo raid uh, there's not much hope for him because he has practically no no speed at all mm. slowest that player fact, on the pitch uh, during the game uh isco actually w- was in a position to shoot uh where a 2016 2017 he passed it sideways yeah yeah where he could have i mean i have seen him score goals from those positions in, mm. in the 2016 2017 season and mm. and i i was that was trying to mm. yeah i was actually expecting him to shoot and i i mm. actually remember a point where he uh, passed i think to fedi valverde i don't remember yeah. but Uh, yeah i mean at least him trying would have been nice to see but okay i mean he is improving his game yes speed is a problem but i i don't think he can work on that now i mean <laughs> that yeah, that has failed really really yeah yeah he's <laughs> passed that fitness to change his speed anyway star of the show mr mr marco asensio ah his his position he was uh, like we- mm-hmm. doing well for as a attacking midfielder like it's yeah. more than a winger like to only to judge but it w- he was doing well in that position and oh, definitely at least i heard that like i uh, read somewhere that uh, he wanted to go to arsenal or spurs but angelotti told him that if he would stay here he would get uh, to play in the games and uh, like he would start but not as a winger but as an attacking midfield yeah, yeah. Mm. and like he agreed that he will stay and ancelotti then gave him that like, opportunity as a attacking midfielder yeah ancelotti's vote of confidence was all the difference why asensio is still here like even all of the fans was pretty uh, done with him i think most of the fans were like you know pretty hopeless i think i didn't like he, his last season was like was like vinicius because vinicius stopped scoring goals after a few games after that liverpool but at least vinicius tried asensio just he was back pass merchant in the last yeah, last yeah. season it was like okay back pass asensio 
Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Sure. Uh, this game, he was brilliant. Uh, <laughs> he scored a hat trick with uh, his left foot because I think uh, he just loves his left foot more than anything in the world. And yeah. uh, he he does have a great left foot. That's that's for sure. Uh, so he was usually where he had to be. He chose great positioning. But I want to note uh, uh, his one goal where. Uh, he cut in from outside the box and shot it uh, with his left foot, and I think that's kind of like an uh, like kind of like Asensio's signature shot outside the box mm. uh, with his left yeah. foot. Uh, always wasn't hit. the best of connections, though. Yeah, but he but he actually yeah, well, like, he did get uh, like uh, left corner, and that's that's what he does. Mm. Whenever he gets mm. the chance, he cuts away from the defender outside the box, shoots it, and it, like almost always goes to the, uh, to a corner. Uh, and that mm. reminds me of uh, uh, last season. Uh, I remember mm. him back healing a shot. Um, yeah, mid air. He like volleyed with yeah, back yeah, heel. Yeah. It just missed by a centimeter. That was, that, yes, that would have been one, one for the Indians. That would like, have sexy, been the uh, yeah. goal of the, uh, La Liga last season. I'm, I'm confident. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, that, yeah. it, it has nothing to do with yeah. this game, but you know, that just makes me uh, sad to, to this day. That is the potential. That is the awe uh, that Essential set. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, well, he only scores bangers, right? Yeah. Yeah. He used to, at least. He used to, yeah. Used to. What about Benzema's ball to Essential? That first time ball, he actually laid it on a plate. Oh, like, beautiful. Um, beautiful. That was, that was sick. Yeah. Like, the like invention of Benzema. You know, quick thinking. Benzema scored 200th goal of La Liga. Mm. Um, that uh, game, Malik Mallorca game. And... Was it 200 or am I? Am yeah. I yeah, 200. No, and no, 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 no. Yeah. he he uh, became a top 10 uh, player to score the most goals uh, in La Liga history. He, he's on 10th yeah. place right now. So he finally made the top 10 list. And I, th I think before he retires he's, or leaves Real Madrid, he's going to move up a little bit on that table. Mm hmm. I'm 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 hoping he'll be he'll end up at at least three, just behind Messi and and Ronaldo. Hopefully, we'll see. It'll take uh, yeah, him I two think good it's, it's a bit too much. Let me check. Yeah, it's, I think I think it's I two think fifty something. That's on the third at two fifty ish. Uh, anyway, while Nodo checks, I'll just like to point oh, out one thing yeah, that two, amongst the, the third the is uh, two hundred fifty one goals. So, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, if yeah, he so, scores. Yeah. Uh, two goals uh, before he retires and yo if he continues like that he's definitely gonna do it yeah easy peasy <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah guys so, are, you, are you keeping the check on time yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll just wrap this game up very soon uh, just one thing about Brazilians uh, yeah Brazilians in fact I'll start with Vinicius then we can go to Rodrigo yeah uh, Vinicius actually had the highest expected goals uh, amongst the attackers, more than Benzema, uh, Jovic and, and Rodrigo. He had 0. Mm. 0.7. Uh, in fact, his, like I, I think in the last part we discussed how his dribbling success rate was down. I mean, this time he improved it a lot. He attempted 7 dribbles, most, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, and he successfully completed 5 of those. I mean, mm. I think he played as a as a winger. He played really well. It's just yeah. that that finishing again is he needs to. I think Carlo would have a talk with him anyway. Mm. But yeah, uh, Vinicius is is a threat uh, if he if he improves again. Like he Vinicius was giving them all sorts of trouble. Like yeah, throughout, yeah. yeah, throughout the game. Rodrigo was decent. Uh, nothing too special though. Um, I would have he made the four goal. goal. He yeah. made the four goal, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Essentials, uh, a banger. Like he made it. Yeah. it was pretty good. Mm. Yeah, he was. I think he was, he was also... solid, but nothing. Oh yeah, no, he was solid. No yeah, mistakes not, yeah, again, but yeah, but not yeah. nothing special, as you said. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, your which. Your which I kind of like. Uh, I mean, I would have hoped for a goal, but I feel the man is just unlucky. He I cannot get goals. I think the best uh, thing your which did that game. uh was that he, when he uh came on this uh, sideline to you know come on the pitch mm-hmm. uh Benzema saw him and yeah. he, he pushed Benzema to score one more goal <laughs> before he left <laughs> because he could he, he tried to get the second one so many times you know one was disallowed and that was that was, that was so I, that was bullshit i mean yeah that I, was that was yeah. stupid that was uh, no way that had to be disallowed Uh so like Benzema, Benzema f- no. felt that uh Jovic was coming on so he just went out to the bank literally for for Benzema's second goal the ball from Alaba man yeah. on a plate mm-hmm. like he mm-hmm. even controlled it with his back of his neck uh, you know Benzema that yeah, that was that was insane, insane. Uh, that I, was I think mm-hmm. that's going to be but but there was the control was amazing the pass was amazing but Benzema got really really lucky with the shot though. Yeah, the it goal, got deflected. Yeah, so deflection. it got deflected from one defender and it was going to the goalkeeper but it got def- deflected off another defender and went in. Yeah. Uh you know mm-hmm. but the you he know, created his luck. Everything, you got to yeah, give them credit. He, he definitely got lucky there but everything up to that mm-hmm. moment was amazing and uh, required mm-hmm. utmost skill. So yeah, back yeah. to Jovic. Jovic is I I don't know when I, I can I, until he he comes on, I forget that he's playing he's playing for us. You know, mm-hmm. uh, he is unlucky. He can't get goals. But is he though? Like, uh, Carlo is our second manager who doesn't really play mm-hmm. him. I mean, yeah. How do you bench Benzema? You don't. But you know, uh, maybe. Like no, Zidane tried a four-four-two that one time, and yeah. he quickly like scrapped it. Mm. Quickly scrapped it mm. uh, because yeah. Jovic just does not work in Real Madrid. Mm-hmm. At least he hasn't. Because yeah. Jovic, with the ball, like Jovic is nowhere the nowhere near Benzema or nowhere yeah. near the type of player like I think Real Madrid wants yeah. at striker. Yeah. Oh, at I, least in recent history. Mm. I, I can only remember <laughs> one goal from him. I think this that was no. uh his first season here. And that goal yeah. was uh when Valverde was one one on one with a goalkeeper and he could have scored himself but you know Valverde is uh, yeah. just likes to give uh assist uh, and he could have scored it he just gave it to Jovic and uh, you know I feel like uh it was uh, he gave it on a, a plate you know I could have scored mm. that. <laughs> Um, yeah. so uh, I, that's the only goal from you which I can remember. Uh, hmm. they probably are, are different but I just 60 million, 60 million. I just don't remember any other goals, especially not important mm. ones. That wasn't important either. Mm. We were already I up. I think the problem is that uh position with Jovic because um uh, the Jovic ha- like plays as a forward and we already have the best players in the world to play at that position. So So mm. he does not have that like he lacks skill or something but he isn't like that great the for the mm. players we already have for that position. Um maybe That is true. We can get one of those uh uh you know the bicycles that have uh, two seats, right? Uh and uh, you know two uh, pairs of pedals. Let's put Jovic and Hazard on those and on that bicycle and just send them away from uh, Spain. I would like <laughs> I am I'm right on that with Hazard but I, Jovic, the crowd yeah. cheered for Jovic as mm. I remember they actually cheered for Jovic for him to play mm. but yeah I mean he was there uh, come, huh? uh he was uh, there asking for the ball when Vinicius gave to Isco but he was uh, mm. being covered by a defender and I was asking for the ball mm. while Isco was open and asking for a ball and I said that last episode Jovic hides behind defenders and that was mm. like I guess that wasn't hiding behind defender he was he was just badly positioned or he was just uh, covered well enough but I mean mm. Isco wasn't was he he chose a brilliant position and scored it yeah I, I don't know man yeah. I just don't see Jovic doing 
anything. Yeah, there was a few positives, but I think we're just cherry picking when we say there are a few positives when he comes on. He hasn't yeah. created anything worth praising. I mean, at this point, we're yeah. praising a 60 million trans, uh, 60 million transfer for not being awful. Yeah. That yeah, is not yeah. uh, that is not something we should be doing. I don't. I'm not saying we should be hating on him or anything, yeah. but we yeah. uh, praising him for you know. Oh, that one time he was active. He ran after yeah. the ball. He jumped imagine, for a header. That's not yeah. it. That's imagine not, no, no, no. I think let's move to the lateral yeah. after yeah. you finish. Yeah. Oh no no. Just last. Just uh, one last thing I wanted to add in Jovic's case. Like, just imagine in an alternate reality when he actually had a couple of substitute appearances, like he managed to score one goal or a couple of goals. He could have started against Sheriff on Tuesday, you know, mm. like ahead of Benzema. Like Benzema could have gotten a much needed rest. So, um, I mm-hmm. gave up on Jovic when he left for uh, on loan. I'm and for, then mm. we had to play Mariano yeah. for a few games. Uh, honestly, uh, yeah. didn't uh, like Odegaard did the same thing. Mm. You really know how that ended, so uh, it, it yeah. doesn't look good for Jovic either. He did stay, but what's th- th- it's worth nothing if he can't do anything. Anyways, let's. Uh, I think okay. you know, I, there's not much to discuss about how Mallorca played. They were terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, that, Mm, I, I guess he was active. Yeah, he was uh, but, active. Yeah, I, I think there's you know, not, not much to uh, yeah, yeah, discuss like about Mallorca. So, I think uh, more importantly, uh, the VRL game, it was kind of different from all the season. It was the first time this season where, uh, us, uh, where uh, Benzema and Vinicius couldn't either uh, get... Uh, get uh, a goal or an assist. It was the first game that Real Madrid Mm. didn't score and it was the first goal this season where Real Madrid uh, had a 0-0 draw. So, yeah. I believe that Villarreal was uh, like uh, the better side for majority of the time. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like they were the better side. Especially the first half. First half was... You know, mean, second half, they the, they were ten players in the box. I mean, how would anyone score? That was frustrating to uh, watch. You know what? Uh, I, I think to... apart from yeah, yes, yeah, go on, listen it. No, no, no. Apart from like, like just like Ritwik mentioned, apart from Paco Alcasa, like everybody was inside the box yeah. uh, for Villarreal. Like last thirty minutes, you know, like Unai Emery had a plan, and the plan was to just salvage a draw, go back home. That's it. Yeah, yeah, he was looking for a draw. He never came for a win. Uh, you know, it, it mm. was a weird game. I think, like, I don't know what Carlo Ancelotti did there. Uh, you know, I've been praising mm. him this whole season. And, uh, you know, uh, this was just a really, really... I mean, it's not like it was terrible or anything. It was just really weird. I don't know what he was... I don't know what the tactic was. Like, I still cannot figure out what the tactic was. You know, first half, we gave it to them. The second half, yeah. and, you know, uh, Ancelotti is a second half manager. Uh, he does something yeah. during the halftime break. But, uh, yeah, we did play better the second uh, half, but it was, it's still nothing uh, nothing worth of, worth noting. Uh, the first half, you know, what? You know whole, whole game and uh, especially yeah. first half, I don't know. I think we were just holding back and, you know, allowing Villarreal to go it. on. Uh, it's like yeah. I, it kind of felt like at 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 the while I was watching the game, I thought, uh, I thought uh, Ancelotti's plan was to, yo, know, we're gonna hold uh, back for a bit, we're gonna tire yeah. out uh, VRL, and then we're gonna, we're just gonna mm-hmm. uh, hit them like a storm, but that storm never yeah. came. Uh, Ria, your uh, video is frozen. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Hello, Ria. I think she did. Cut off. Uh, I, I guess she'll be back. She'll be back. Anyway, no. Uh, to move on to uh, yeah, real. Yeah. Sorry, Ritwik. This this one point, man. Like, uh, I think the the main thing Ancelotti got wrong um, was how he decided not to play Miguel. Like for the preview, like we couldn't do the preview, but for the preview, I had actually prepared uh, some stuff regarding how Unai Emery and his 
um, adamant decision to play, uh, you know, kind of like eight at the back and shore up the defense, you know, uh, like uh, trying not to lose, would play into Carlos' thinking and he would actually uh, drop Miguel and put uh, Nacho, you know, at left back. Uh, I think that backfired big time because, like, Valverde at right back couldn't control anything. Like, he couldn't uh, contribute to the attack, nor defense. Like... They were just walking around. Like if you if you notice during the first half, Villarreal was just completely like strolling, like without being pressed. Our press was so bad, and and mm. the fullbacks there are like no the most it wasn't bad. important. There was no press. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, last uh, season, people were saying, yeah. "Let's play Valverde right back," and I'm like, mm-hmm. guys. We played Valverde as a right back that one time out of desperation against Liverpool. It was Liverpool, I think. Mm. And I, why are you keep suggesting that we play uh, Valverde mm. as a right back? He's not a right back. He shouldn't be there, especially the quality yeah. that he brings in the midfield. I, I got downvoted for saying uh, our uh, most uh, you know active uh, center mid was not. Mm. Uh, was not a uh, shouldn't be played as a right back because like uh, you know uh, our sub likes to go on this uh, st- uh, this stupid I don't know uh, you know if they see something that happens once they will just go on and uh, you know oh you know we played Tebow as a striker and he got one dribble let's do it again. And you know the, the yeah. stupid suggestions, suggestions like that, and, and this game showed yeah. that Valverde should absolutely not be uh, a right back. That is, you have to uh, abs- ab- yeah, no way. Uh, some people like, some people were saying, uh, you know what, Asensio didn't do anything, uh, so uh, I I knew that uh, his last game was a fluke. No, it wasn't. You didn't. You yeah. haven't seen anything from Asensio. Every every uh, player ex- except for uh, um, uh, Alaba and Militao uh, and Thibaut mm-hmm. was pretty much uh, terrible this uh, this game. Yeah. I think it was more more to uh, tactics are more to blame than the players themselves. Uh, mm. But you know, mm. uh, saying oh, Asensio's hat trick was a fluke because he didn't play, didn't perform this game. No one did. Stop! Stop! Like uh, you know, I I don't know what's up with the, with their stuff. They just like to... for sure. Like our midfield was non-existent. Like thing. to be fair, like, actually, you... got as closest to the goal than anyone else that uh-huh. passed to Milita. Uh, no sure. one. I mean, that was the closest thing to goal that we got. Mm-hmm. We had one mm-hmm. shot on target. That two from Vinicius. That I hope I mean to remember. in the first half. You mean? In general, we had one shot on. Oh, in general, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was surprising. I know, I know. Mm, mm, mm. We had total fourteen shots. Like we took fourteen shots, one shot on target. That's seven percent accuracy. That's just piss poor. That I has think everything they, to do with how we are real set up. Go on, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I they mean, achieved it. It was frustrating to watch that game as a Madrid fan. Uh, Rio was saying hard. something. I'm saying yeah, that they achieved their target, they came to the draw and that happened. Priya? Yeah? Your voice is really feeble, like it's really low. Okay. Is it fine now? It's better. It's better. Go on, go on. No, I'm just, saying that, I'm just saying that they achieved their target, they came for a draw and that happened. Like our attack yeah. was a bit low and they were not able to attack and we didn't score a goal and they like they came for the draw that that's what happened. Yeah. Ritwick. Yeah. Noise. Noise? Yeah, there's noise coming from I, I guess the fan. I yeah. guess the fan. Nothing is on. Uh-huh. Nothing is on. Yeah, it nope. kind of sounds like the fan. Okay. Some kind of static. Can you just remove the microphone and replug it? Maybe that'll fix it. Well, Are you just... sure it's not fixed? Yeah. Oh no. It's still there. Uh, give me a second. I'll join from my phone in that case. Okay. 
It's not Riaz, right? Should I join with my phone? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you Internet know, uh, um, this is a, uh, I don't know. Uh, this game, I think the one uh, thing to note was Alaba. Mm. Alaba was a was really really solid. Alaba was great uh, this game. I think one of, one of the uh, best defensive performances from him this season. Yeah. Uh, Milito yeah. was good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know why Ancel just suddenly decided to go right back Valverde instead of doing what he did last game. Uh, mm. I think, you know, it's not the best to have uh, Miguel, uh, Alaba, uh, Militao and Nacho, but I think it was definitely better than whatever this was. Uh, you know... If, if you notice, Villarreal's right back, uh, John Foyt, um, he actually used to play for Spurs and he was so shit there, you know, even Spurs, considering how shit Spurs are, they didn't want him. And <laughs> the way he dominated our, our, our left wing, from, from his right side was crazy. Like, the commentators were like, you know, Spurs should have, should have had a better look in for this guy. Like, how couldn't he make that White Hart Lane? He's playing so well for Villarreal. We made him look world class. Mm. You know? Yeah, it's um, like, it was actually, just on my left side. Uh, hmm. He was actually really solid against Vinicius, too. Uh, he, Vinicius couldn't really mm. do anything, you know, worthy against. Uh, uh, 4th and, uh, Pardon. yeah, he was, he, he was, yeah, basically, yeah, we, we, I, I mean, he did, he did fine, I guess, he was, you know, mm -hmm. anything, you know, magical or anything, but, uh, mm -hmm. he was, like, uh, decent against us. You know what, our fullback situation is, is kind of, is kind of worrying, bro, like, um, yeah, we, really we don't boring. have... We don't have many bright Castilla prospects as well. Like Sergio Santos is also not highly rated. Like from what I've heard, like he is okay um, defending, but um, like in attack, he's he's just bad. I think he had one good cross uh, against Mallorca, though. Yeah, we didn't yeah. really talk. Uh, oh, oh, one sec, uh, off topic, but. Uh, UEFA has dropped its case against Super League clubs Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Juventus, calling the proceedings null and void. Uh, UEFA, you can suck it. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. All, yeah. all those guys used to like grill me. You know, Papa Perez is ruining football and all that. Like I used to tell them. If all these clubs came together, it, it was for a very solid reason that UFA is actually stealing from them and not giving them any kind of uh, money. Yeah. 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 So, anyways, back to the game. Back to the game. Uh, back to the game. Let's yes, uh, uh, Casemiro. Cas Casemiro, I would like to ask you guys. What did you we think? We are still on top. We are still on top, so there's no... Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we're no still worries. on top. Barca is... Uh, uh, I mean, because just because Ansu Fati scored a goal. So happy for Ansu Fati. So happy. Oh, no, I'm, so happy. I'm happy for Ansu Fati. Ansu Fati is the guy. For, no, yeah, but but I'm not happy for fuck Barca Levante. fans. I mean. What is that? They scored three against mm. us. And then... Yeah. They, uh, then they just bend Ansu over. Fati, Ansu Barca. Fati comes yeah, yeah, on. They bend over. Ansu Fati uh, comes on. The kid hasn't played... Uh, for like uh, a year now, and he's so young. Mm. A year is basically like half of his life, and uh, mm. they and he just scores against Levante. Like no problem, three nil. Uh, yeah. Outside the box. Outside, yeah, outside the box. The, what are they doing? Why? Why did they have to perform against us? Yeah. No, team I mean, has scored, a, the, scored three goals against it, us it, though. I'm saying, look at the bright side though. He he spent one year in in with injury and he comes back and he has more goals this season than uh, than certain goat playing for PSG in a farmers league. Oh, beautiful! Messy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you know, somebody was joking. Uh, you know, uh, Vinicius has more uh, La Liga goals than Messi does, but Messi literally has zero goals. Like anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. This is, uh, uh, which is 
goal now. I kind of feel bad for Messi though. But at, at this know. point, yeah, like he's injured now. I think I don't know. You know, but uh, I yeah, think but he's, he's back. He's, like this he's, one, he's but... back, uh, back training okay. with the team again. Uh, yeah, but okay. you know, nice. uh, if he doesn't, if uh, he doesn't score, and that means PSG will suffer, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Let Messi. Yep, I, I hate PSG. I want yeah, PSG yeah. to lose against Man City. Yeah, no, I want PSG to lose every day if that's yeah, possible. But they are not. I hate the other two. I hate PSG more than Barca, Barca right now. Yeah, I, I mean I have resentment lost. towards them. Didn't hate them at but, all until the Mbappe. Like, I will yeah. always hey, hate Barca them. Hey, Barca is already gone. Like I don't consider them a strong team anymore. Like Barca oh, yeah. has dropped a lot. What? Like, what are you saying? Like, Look, the young is. Better than Benzema. Oh yeah, Luke De Jong has scored a goal. I mean, he's the best player in the world. I'm sorry, I can't even say. It. L- like, uh, you know, De Jong, you know, like he is a decent striker. Like what? Like what can he do? He's yeah. actually playing better than uh, Mr. Uh, Memphis. I mean, he's yeah. so wasteful. Memphis yeah, is Memphis so wasteful. Was always inconsistent. I, yeah, that, that was I, I was like, okay, Vinicius, Vinicius can can do better than you. At, at, I mean, anyway. Just laugh at anyway. Their defense. Yeah, I just love at the defender. Uh, yeah, we can just. Like, there are so many teams on their defense. Yeah, PK and everyone like they're shitting all. But like mm-hmm. Barca fans are, they're trying to create this narrative that Aruho is Should the next big be... thing. I mean, bullshit narrative. Uh, yeah, it's I mean. not as bad as uh, today. I read an Arsenal fan writing. That Arsenal was gonna <laughs> gonna read uh, gonna win uh, Premier League this season. They, who, who was that? Uh, wasn't me for sure. <laughs> it wasn't you, but it was somebody unironically saying Arsenal was gonna uh, win the Premier League, which was I, I, mm. which is sad. <laughs> if you if you actually like genuinely think uh, like uh, they're of course not gonna get relegated. Uh, that's mm. uh, that's a given, but. If you actually I just think, to... if you actually think that they're gonna win uh, the prem this year, I, you're an yeah. idiot. Sorry. They're just gas, bro. Like I think it's the first time in years, like Arsenal, like we we led three nil at halftime. Like it's, I think since forever. It's just that. Yeah. Don't don't take now, to heart. Let's just <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, let's just, uh, yeah, just one, I mean, okay, actually, we can't. Uh, I was just asking about, uh, uh, uh this guy, Casemiro. Uh, he yeah, made, Casemiro. Uh, yeah, no, how do you, how did you think he played? Um, I think, uh, Bomba. Yeah, I, I don't Tinker. know, I don't know, like, I'm not gonna talk about Casemiro, uh, alone. I think everybody mm. played Pretty, but uh, we, we got a concentrated Casemiro for a bit. Pretty bad. Everyone, bro. Yeah. Oh, except for uh, Militao and Alaba, of course, and Courtois. No, I'm 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 sure he played bad, but uh, there's a very interesting stat here that he had the most number of tackles plus interception for Real Madrid out of anyone. I mean, the second is Nacho, in fact, as a matter of fact, and then it's Fede Valverde. Uh, I, I mean, sure, Casemiro. So, Casemiro attacking is not that strong, but he is like the best defense, like in the midfield. Like he, he is defensive. Yeah, yeah. Is I the mean, defense part is really he strong. Needs, he needs he's a rest, defensive midfielder here. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of his job. Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm just really Casemiro like, for me. Like, has been game. really average for like three, four games now. Like the standards he has set. Like, it's you know. It's right up there with Kante, with anyone you name, the best CDMs I, ever graced. I mean, game. yeah, barring the season, I still feel he's better. I mean, I I think I've said this on previous podcasts as well. In in UCL, yeah. he had better stats than Kante overall. Like Kante was mm. great in semi final and final, but overall, yeah. Casemiro was just better than Ingola Kante. Yeah. I think it's the system I mean, we play, and and the players yeah. around him. I think once like Cruz is back, Cruz, a lot sure. of things. Modric are and Casemiro are missing Cruz. Yeah, I think. Yeah. The, I mean, everyone's missing Cruz. The I man, I just. Yeah, yeah, he's in the squad for uh, Sh- uh, Sheriff. I'm gonna change the flair on my on my Real Madrid sub now. I've been a Valverde stan for a long time, but watching him come back, I think I'm gonna go back to Tony Cruz. 
uh anyway let's move to sheriff uh any hot takes do we have for sheriff i have one i think i think luka jovic will start that's just me putting it out there oh, it, it's God. probably not going to happen probably not going to happen but i i mean maybe benzema needs a rest uh, I you know uh i i i don't want to repeat last season you know Yeah. What, what what was the last last season? We we won every uh you know difficult game. We lost every you know simple one. But uh, I don't think we're going to lose this one. Uh not just, not because it's Sheriff. Uh I think Ancelotti is just going to grill uh our uh players. Uh I mean, mm-hmm. you know, after the uh after VRL's uh, a game ended i don't yeah. i would not want to be one of the players going into uh, uh, uh the same room as carlo ancelotti to be honest i think he's got, just absolutely going to grill everyone uh and they will uh, perform just really really well against sheriff maybe not as well as mallorca because that was just, oof. but i think i thought so still, but i think we're going to we're going to be pretty comfortable this game like in my opinion like we shouldn't take any opposition lightly uh-huh. uh yeah, like sure. we learned our lessons last year with shakta like how they bet us at their uh, like at our own ground uh at, at the at the stefano so e- even though sheriff arminos it's their first appearance in the ucl they were a club only formed in 1997 oh, really? which means mm-hmm. they are just yeah 24 uh 24 years old uh they're third in the league um they play in the moldovan league but they are not from moldova for the people who are listening just an insight they are not from moldova but they are from tiraspol um which is an independent state in the uh, pride and estrovian uh, moldovan republic and they are some sort of like they call themselves as some sort of a rebel uh, fan base because they are the only club who play uh, in the moldovan league and don't pay any kind of taxes or doesn't contribute to um any kind of um they don't contribute to uh, maintaining the league in any way they are like completely detached from the league they play in so they are kind of frowned upon but they have a very uh, raucous fan base so i think their players will be up for it they won their first game uh, against shakta mm-hmm. uh Funny enough, Traore uh, scored, and they have, I think they have a player called Cristiano as well. N- another <laughs> That's joke. That's nice. Another pun. Never heard yeah. of that player. Who is he? Is he nice? Uh, I think he's he's pretty decent. I think he's of um, uh, I don't know where he is. I know uh, Traore is of Malian descent. They won two nil against Shakta uh, in the first match day, and they're actually top of the group with better goal difference than us. So, you know. I mean 1-0 is no goal difference but okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but still. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stop laughing. Because yeah. you no, support no, the club in the world that doesn't mean that you have to laugh on small clubs. No, yeah. no, I I don't laugh. Yes, no one will laugh at Barca, okay? I'm saying guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good one. Uh, okay. Uh um, yeah what, what, what do you guys think how how is it going to go like is it going to be easy are we going to be too complacent oh no no it's never with madrid and teams like this never easy it's going to be one mm. hell of a match <laughs> it's going to be end to end like to the last minute I stuff weird. i th- i think i personally think we're going to win at least by two goals truth be told Mm. Yeah, okay. Oh. That's a fair. Yeah, actually. Special, doesn't sound uh, too uh, out. Like after a draw a last game and uh, mm-hmm. you know that game was uh more important to Villarreal, you know, just powered through uh, powered through uh, Real Madrid because they had uh, UCL against Manchester United. Uh and mm. we were I, I don't know what was that what was that game, but uh anyways for real madrid uh anything less than a win is never uh good enough so i think we just got to yeah. go head first into this game just play really yeah. really well it depends on who starts as well like like do you think there'll be a lot of rotations like from carlo um and i don't think valverde is going to be a right back again 
for sure. I think I think mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have the same uh, lineup as uh, against Mallorca, except yeah. instead of Rodrigo, it will be mm -hmm. uh, Hazard. Is uh, what? Has, it... like, has uh, Hazard recovered? Like he was injured, right? Uh, he he played last game. Yeah, the Mallorca game was dead. Like I don't blame Ria for that. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, do I we have Hazard... a lineup? Yeah. Sorry. Hmm. Sorry. Go on. Go on, Sunet. No, no, no. Uh, like in my opinion, Hazard shouldn't start, man. Like he shouldn't start. He doesn't warrant anything to start. Like Rodrigo, at least he gives us all. I'm not saying like, he should. Yeah. I'm saying we he have will. so many people coming yeah. inside, cutting inside. We need people out wide. We need to stretch defenses, and Rodrigo does that so well since he's young, you know. Yeah, but uh, Rodrigo played. Uh, I think he was one of the worst last game. Game. That's why I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying just because one game he shouldn't start. I'm saying he should start. Uh, mm. But Hazard will start. Uh, that's uh, what what I think Carlo will do. Hazard will start. Yeah. And everything else will be the same. So, mm. Yeah. Oh, any, uh, Not sure how much Hazard will participate, but yeah. Any other uh, mm -hmm. ideas yeah, cool. of, about the uh, lineup? I think Lunen should be given a given an opportunity to start. Maybe just in Champions League. No way. Sorry. Uh, Lunen, the the second okay. goalkeeper. Yeah, got it, yeah. got it. I... Not this early in the Champions League. Maybe if we win like a third, uh, three games in a row. Maybe one game. Maybe, yeah. By the time we meet Sheriff again. Maybe then, hopefully. But let's see, let's yeah. see. Not to blame it uh, Once he's completely secure. on uh, Lunin, but uh, last game he played, uh, we were uh, knocked out of Copa del Rey by um, by an amateur team. Yeah. Which has a very so. superior record to Real Madrid. <laughs> like, they've beaten us twice. It's <laughs> interesting. Madrid just... Ego booster for a lot of teams. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do we have a lineup? Do we have a lineup? Anyone? Yeah, uh, that's, that's my uh, my idea I about the lineup. So yes, I go. So I think Kotwa, uh, Militao, Alaba, mm -hmm. Miguel, and Nacho. Uh -huh. I will like to see that. Uh, yeah. I think in the midfield, I mean Valverde will be there. I think Casemiro will be there. Uh, I think even Modric could start. Sure. I don't think they'll just rush in Cruz. I think he'll be brought in as a substitute. Is he, uh, is he in the line? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. One... he's in the squad. Yeah, he's, he's in yeah, the squad. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Yep. I haven't seen the, the squad is... list. The man uh, is back. I don't think uh, he's going to play Blanco. at all. I, I think he's not going to play at all. Maybe it's possible. Like maybe ten minutes. I don't know. I don't uh, think so. Maybe he'll play against a good team, a strong. Team. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, and I think attacking would be Benzema. No, no, Hazard. no, no can't get over his excitement. <laughs> I mean, no one can. It's it's Tony, right? Like we all we all love him. Uh, the German sniper. Yeah, the German sniper. Where, Where did he go? I he have a reason. <laughs> oh! Okay. Uh, nice, nice. For the viewers who are listening to us on Spotify, he just pulled out a pulled out a cruise uh, jersey from from last year, I believe. Yeah. Last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Last year. Yeah. Okay, strikers. I think the front three will be Benzema, Hazard, and Vinicius. Uh, yeah. So yeah, me and Ritu have exactly the same lineup. So Being your favorite. Yeah. Joe, being your favorite in the list, Joe. Uh, yeah, I think he'll be brought on in the second. I would really like him to start. I mean, would yeah. like him to even score a goal. That, that but, won't happen. Yo, but that, that won't happen. happen. No, no, Jovic is is not is not my favorite player. That that is Valverde. <laughs> that is Valverde. But but I think my favorite player like. From my soul, it's it's Mariano. I mean, what a brilliant <laughs> player, right? Yeah. 
he won as a classical bro put some respect yeah, yeah. on my young guy definitely i mean he's he was one of the reasons we won la liga I, i don't even know why we put him in the squad list at this point why do we bother <laughs> just take some we need to warm the yeah. seat bro no do you so rude to players i mean yeah no do excuse excuse me Call, call Mariano a player is insulting to players. <laughs> oh wow, we have gone okay, there. No, okay. I'm, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm actually not hating on Mariano, although he's he, no, no. he's check the time. Uh, yeah, one, one hour exactly. One hour, one hour. Uh, Mariano hour. is uh, terrible, but I'm not gonna hate on him unless he does something okay. awful to our to the team. Oh, so yeah. Anyone? But- I don't think he'll get a chance to do something awful. Nah. And I and I'll be glad if he doesn't. Unless, anyway. Unless he uh, has to play, he's not going to play. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh anything else you guys want to add to the Any different lineup predictions? No. I don't think so because it'll be hard to predict cuz goal predictions then. Game. Come on. Give us give us your hot takes. I said 3-0. At least uh, I don't Tres cero. We're I'll go for 4-1. At least buy it by two goals, but I don't know exactly. I'm okay, not, I'm that's gonna, a fair I'm point. I'm gonna state the um, goal line. I'm, I'm saying 4-1 for, for, for Mil for Madrid. 5-0. Guys, they won 7-0 on Saturday, so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a game to watch. We'll we'll see. Okay, we'll see. We'll we'll. <laughs> Until unless we start. Jovic or Mariano, we can expect the goals we are predicting. For sure. I I, I hope uh, Rodrigo comes on as a substitute and scores one. Like mm-hmm. it's mean, UCL, right? UCL. It, it, I hope Kama scores one. I want Kama Who? to score one. Kama. Oh, Kama. Kama 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 yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, he'll come on definitely. Kama Vinga. Oh, Hazard scores one. Yeah, Hazard. Come on. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hazard, yep. Hazard, Hazard. scores one. Point, Hazard. I don't, uh, I don't even care about Hazard's goals anymore, man. Do we have any proof for me to watch Hazard scoring a goal? His fifth goal in four in, years. In, in UCL, it, it's certainly a dream. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. So, if you don't have anything, let's uh, wrap this one up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right then. Okay, folks. Uh, I guess that's a wrap. Uh, we're gonna be back uh, after the uh, after the, the sheriff. sheriff game. We're gonna be previewing what comes after sheriff. Uh, I'll have to check actually. Yeah, even I forgot. I think it's on Sunday. There's a game on Sunday. I know uh, that. Uh, just hold on. It's it's, uh, it's Espanol. 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 Uh, so next yeah, yeah. episode we're gonna be uh, reviewing the sheriff game and we're gonna be previewing the. um uh, the uh espanol game i hope we're gonna have we're gonna see cross play again when do you guys and think we will be able to do it on thursday yeah is it okay for you guys thursday would be fine let's, let's not yeah thursday or friday let let's not Thurs- give up thursday or friday okay. yeah we're we're gonna do it uh anyways thanks for uh listening everybody thanks for tuning in uh uh see you next time hala madrid Hello Madrid. Keep it real. Don't cut it now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>